open source software is everywhere. In our phones, in the industry, or powering the internet. How can we be sure that there are no bugs left in those programs? Open source software is largely audited and tested by the community, but is this enough to guarantee rock solid security? Let's find out together. Hi, and welcome to the Wireshark Challenge. My name is Ashley. I work in product marketing at Trustinsoft, and I will be your guide for this video. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the most popular open source tools, Wireshark. Wireshark has been out there for more than 20 years and is the most commonly used network analyzer and packet inspector. We can all agree that security is essential for this kind of software, but how can we make sure that the large code base of Wireshark contains no defect? Let's find out. Wireshark is written in C and C++, so we will use Trust and Soft Analyzer for the bug hunt. Trust and Soft Analyzer uses mathematical verifications to exhaustively detect issues in the code and is able to give mathematical guarantees on the absence of bugs in C and C++ programs. So the analyzer is working very quickly and hey, we already caught something. As you can see, the analysis, run in interpreter mode, stops as soon as an issue is detected. The user is warned in the terminal, and the user interface is automatically launched to help identify and correct the issue. On the right hand side, we can see the source code as developed by the user. On the left, we can see the summary of the result and an indication that there is an error. And in the center, we have the interactive view of the source code with the analyzer's feedback on the error. We can use this section to navigate through the analysis of the test that led to the discovery of the bug. If we click on the notification of this undefined behavior, the analyzer takes us directly to the part of the code where the error was found. By the way, all code following this point is marked in red because there's no logical meaning that can be given to the code once an undefined behavior exists. So we can see there is an issue with a variable named error, which is uninitialized. Let's find out why. First, let's check if and where this variable was defined. Here it is, so at least we know it was defined. Now let's check the occurrences of this variable and see if a space in the memory of the program dedicated to this variable exists. If so, it would mean that the function using the address of error as a parameter would likely be responsible for the initialization of the variable error. And here it is. Because error is automatically highlighted here, it means it is the only location in the code where it is used as a parameter, so it's very likely that this function is supposed to initialize error. A function called wtabreadbytes indeed takes the address of error or the pointer error as an input. The possible values returned by the function can be 0, negative 12, or uninitialized, as shown by the analyzer. This means that in some specific conditions, the variable error is never initialized and therefore results in the issue. Let's understand in which conditions this can happen. The analyzer has a powerful feature that allows to list all the call stacks related to the functions. So let's use this to filter the results to the particular call stack in which the returned error value is uninitialized. In this particular scenario, we can see that we are in a condition that leads to none of the branches specified by the programmer being activated. Indeed, the analyzer shows that both bytes read and count are equal to 2. Because none of the branches are true, is indicated by the red colored code, error is never initialized. This issue is very subtle and difficult to identify and Trust and Soft Analyzer was the first to catch it. Following the analysis, it was up to the Wireshark developers to fix the defect, which they did, by the way, after receiving the Trust and Soft bug report. So the challenge was successful. We were able to help identify bugs, even in a large project like Wireshark, even though it was constantly being audited by the community. Once all issues detected by Trust and Soft Analyzer are fixed, there can be a high confidence level that the Wireshark code base is more secure and bug free. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to know more about the Wireshark analysis, check out the article in the description of this video. Thanks for watching!